Y'all know what I want to do, right? Let me show y'all how to eat a chicken bone. It's called boning. Boning. You take the bone, right? Especially if it's a flat. Now, you want to break it in half, right? And you want to take whatever's left on your bone and this one. You want to clean it. Okay. And if you want to do damage on the gristle, you can. You don't have to, though. It's not mandatory. You take whatever's left on this one and you clean it. Mm-hmm. And if you want to do damage to the gristle, you can. But it's not mandatory. And that's how you clean the bone, y'all. That's the best way to get along with me. Clean your bone. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tam's Table. So excited to have each one of you at Tam's Table. So pull up a chair and take a seat and ring the bell for VIP. A brand new video's coming up now at Tam's Table. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Tam's Table. Y'all, I'm so excited to have y'all here with me today. To all of my VIPs that have subscribed and you rung that notification bell, thank you so much for rocking with me. And to all of my visitors, you all are welcome. Pull up a chair because I got exactly what I told y'all we was going to have. Chuck E. Cheese, $5 pizza. That's right. We got a $5 mukbang going on. Well, not really. I did order me some wings. I wanted to try those new wings from Wingstop, the um, the orange shashashwan. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I put it. I put the word down there. It's just orange shasha, whatever it's called. I also got some lemon pepper. I got some ranch, and I got to tell y'all the story about when I went to Wingstop, and they treated me like absolute trash. This was like maybe about a week and a half ago. Y'all know I'll be saving my stories for y'all. So let's say our grace and get started. Gracious God, thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord, I ask that you will bless it, sanctify it, allow it to nourish my body, and please my palate. In Jesus' name, amen. Yee! I'm excited. Y'all know this Chuck E. Cheese pizza is bomb. I don't know about y'all, but when I take the kids to Chuck E. Cheese, I always order the pizza. And I make sure they get their little slice. And I be sitting right up there eating with them. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's cheap, but it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's cheap. Oh. I know I didn't have to go to Chuck E. Cheese to get it. They selling this at Kroger now. And when I tell you everybody that I walked past in the store had one in their cart, either a cheese or a pepperoni one. Five dollars. They're regular $6.99, but they on sale for $4.99 and been on sale for like weeks. Mm. So as y'all can see, I'm still working and filming off-site. But I, um, I was able to get away and bring y'all a video, a cheap video. And listen, y'all got another cheap one coming soon. All y'all in the comments talking about some Costco and Sam's Club got some good hot dogs. Do it, Sam. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Let me taste one of these wings. I'm gonna say it wrong all the way through there. Watch your such one. Whatever, child. Let me taste. I should have tried it without the ranch, huh? How about that? Oh well. Mm. 
Mmm. Y'all ain't gonna stop. Mmm. That's good. This that new flavor. It's only for a limited time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm so petty. I'm so petty. Y'all know what I want to do, right? Let me show y'all how to eat a chicken bone. It's called boning. Boning. You take the bone, right? Especially if it's a flat. Now, you want to break it in half, right? And you want to take whatever's left on your bone and this one. And you want to clean it. Okay. And if you want to do damage on the gristle, you can. You don't have to though. It's not mandatory. You take whatever's left on this one and you clean it. Mm-hmm. And if you wanna do damage to the gristle, you can. But it's not mandatory. And that's how you clean the bone, y'all. That's the best way to get along with me. Clean your bone. <laughs> clean the bone. I got a whole challenge out. Well... It's my challenge, but AB check me out, put it out for me. Because I was busy, busy, busy. With a bunch of challenges. And I was brand new. I was trying to find my way. <laughs> but clean the bone. If you ever seen it, that's my challenge. I might roll that bad boy back out. <laughs> Look like I need to. Look like I need to. Let me stop. Mm. Let me stop and do like Bishop Ellis would do. He'll tell somebody off. That's my old bishop. He'll tell somebody clean off. And after he finished telling you off in front of everybody, in front of the whole church, he will say, Now, precious dears. <laughs> and the person that just got told off is like almost in tears, child. Uh. Mm. Those was the good old days. Yeah, that's how we got down back in the day. When you showed out, and you got fussed out in front of everybody. Embarrassing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now this is ranch. Wing stop on Roswell Road. This is ranch. Y'all need to learn the difference between ranch and blue cheese. How about Markham? Let me get y'all. And let me put the Bishop Ellis on y'all. Let me get y'all together. It ain't gonna take long either. Let me clean this bone. Clean the bone. Huh? Do you understand? Take it. And you clean the bone. Y'all sit tight. Sit tight, wing stop on Roswell Rug. I bet y'all thought it was gonna be over. It ain't over until I bring y'all in front of my VIPs at Tim's table. I go there and take a sip. <laughs> That's good. Uh, excuse me. I got burp fans. All right, I go to Wingstop, right? 
Let me finish eating my, my five dollar pizza. Cause y'all gonna get this pizza work. Y'all gonna get it. Child, let's just eat it like that. It don't wanna come apart. I tried to do the lunch school cut with the squares. I ain't wanna do it. Mmm. Chuck E. Cheese. Mmm. Mmm. So I go. It's always some mess. I go to Wingstop. And I wanted some lemon pepper chicken tenders. That's all I wanted. And some ranch. So I call to place the order. When I get there and pull up, I say order for Tams. Three um three tenders and um Three lemon pepper tenders and ranch, whatever. Oh, we don't have that order. Did you call the right one? And I'm like, yeah, showed them my phone, showed them the phone number and everything. Yeah, I'm sorry, we didn't get that order. It must oh, who took this order? He all yelling, who took this order? I'm like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. That's a sign that I got food at home. Now, what I wanted to do was, since I was already there, I wanted to get some ranch, get a large ranch, because I love a wing stop ranch, love it. Said, like I said, don't worry about the tenders, you know, in my head I said, I got food at home anyway. Woo! I said, let me just get a large ranch. So when you go to some wing stops, they have a container, a large container of ranch, or they have like, they'll give you like eight of these. It's the same amount. He gave me eight of these, but the numb skull, skull, skull gave me blue cheese. And y'all know, I can eat the blue cheese crumbles, like in a salad, but I don't like blue cheese dressing. I get all the way home. And every single one of these is blue cheese. Every single one. Not one mistake and one of them is blue cheese and the rest of them ranch. No. Every single cup is blue cheese. So I called up there. I don't know why I always call. Because, you know, the first, they can't do nothing over the phone. They really can't. I mean, you got to be honest. They can't. But I guess, you know, you want to make them aware of their mistake. Even if you plan on going up there. So, well, I just got a message on my iPad. I ain't even gonna talk about that because that's exactly what she wants. That old. Mm -mm. Back to Wingstop. Ooh! So, I called, told him what happened. A is blue cheese instead of ranch. I was just up there. She said, okay, what you want us to do? I said, well, what's your normal protocol when y'all make a mistake and mess up somebody's order? She said, I mean, if you want to come all the way back up here, we'll give you what you want or we'll give you your money back. I mean, it's up to you, though. Like, put, like putting, all, putting it all on me. It's almost sounding like it's my fault, like I did something wrong. Yeah. I said, oh, okay, what's your name? Bria. Is that her real name? Hell yeah, that's her real name, Bria. I'm like, okay, Bria, I'm coming back up there. My name is Tams. I'll be back up there in 10 minutes. I ain't said it in no threatening way. Guess I'm coming back up there. <laughs> when I got back up there, the girl Bria who was up there at the register on the phone, my initial order, she all the way in the back. Way, way in the back. I can't even see what she doing. She had. You better have. Talking all that stuff. So the guy at the uh, at the uh, register. <laughs> I didn't even see him the first time in the entire restaurant. Told him what happened. Got to explain the whole thing again. Because he wasn't wanting to call. So I explained to him what happened. I got the blue cheese in the bag. I take it out. Yeah, this blue cheese, I asked for and paid for ranch. What you want us to do? I said, you too? I said, 
said, don't nobody know what customer service is? Y'all don't know. Y'all have no clue. I said, let me school you right quick. And he was about to walk away. But the manager heard what I was saying. I kid you not. I said, let me school you right quick. Your response should not be what you want us to do. The first thing out of your mouth should be, my apologies. I'm sorry about that. How can we make this right? Damn it. Don't say the damn it to the customer, but that's me. Like, all y'all in here just got the same vibe? And so the, um, the manager came over. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm so sorry. We made this mistake before. We in the process of marking them right now. I'm sorry. I'm like, thank you for the apology. He said, you want us to get you? Nope. Nope. I wasn't supposed to have the tenders. Wasn't supposed to have the ranch. I should have took my behind home and cooked. I said, just here. Just give me my money back and let me be on about my way. Because y'all are trash. Precious dears. <laughs> Woo! I ain't gonna get him no more of my energy. Hmm. See, it's a drum. I got five lemon pepper and five orange chachachuan. I know I'm saying it wrong. And um, they gave me all drums except for two. That's the thing when you order DoorDash. You can't, you can't like, you know, you can't be preferential. Even if you put it in the notes, they still gonna give you what they want you to have. And y'all know I'm a flat girl. I know it sound like I said I'm a fat girl. I am. I'm a flat girl. I like all flats. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I don't know what day it's gonna be when y'all see this, but, I hope everybody is being safe while preparing for the holiday season. It's a lot of stuff going on out here in these streets. Be careful. Watch your surroundings. Mm. Be ready for anything. They pushing people down and snatching your keys out your hand. They playing like they crippled. My guy, he on crutches, going into Walgreens, and he, you know, scoping out the scene as soon as he sees somebody that's vulnerable, because he ain't, he faking. He snatched their stuff, snatch all their stuff out their hand, throw his crutches up under his arm, he gone. Shoot. They got a video of him all over Atlanta doing this. They breaking in people's cars, taking whatever they can, and most of the things that are being taken are guns. People keep their guns in their car, especially if they got kids. They keep their guns in the console or on the, in the um, glove box, and they taking people's guns. Be careful, y'all. Holiday crime. Mm, 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 mm. It's on the rise. Mm-hmm. Chicken boning. Clean the bone. Especially lemon pepper. Boy, that flavor be all in that bone. Mm-hmm. Mm. mm. Y'all, the kids come back tomorrow. What kid? <laughs> the kids that live here. And they gonna tear the rest of this pizza up. They will. They're gonna be like, Miss Tamara, is this your pizza in here? I'm be like, no, baby, it's yours. Oh, okay. <laughs> y'all, I'll be here for two more days. Well, by the time y'all see this, I'll be long gone. That is what I do. I film in advance so I can get some vids up under my belt. To all y'all that film every single day, I don't know how y'all do it. I can't do it. Ah! Woo! Yeah, I don't know how y'all do that every day. Film and put out, film and put out, film and put out. I never 
I'd never be able to do it. <laughs> I'd be all over the place, y'all. I have my little wings left over. Let me eat one more for y'all so y'all don't be talking about something. That video was too short. You ain't eating enough. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-mm. Mm. -mm. mm. mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, make sure you head on over to either my Instagram, right here, my Instagram, or my community tab. And let me know what your favorite Christmas song is. Or you can do it in the comments. Let me know what it is. Because I'm going to do some carols for y'all. Yeah. I'm going to do some carols. Y'all. Carols are fair use. <laughs> I said this in another video. Fair use means I can't be flagged for copywritten stuff. Because... It's like happy birthday, you know, you can sing that. It's not owned by anybody or the Star Spangled Banner. Yes, yeah, somebody wrote it, but at this point it's fair use. <laughs> Christmas music is the same way. It is fair use. So let me know what your, your favorite, favorite Christmas song is and I will sing it for you. The acoustics in this here kitchen. He shut up. <laughs> let me um and let me wrap this up. I think that's all I wanted to talk about. I'm looking at my iPad now. Hey, we're about to wrap this up. Ah. Ooh. My bad, y'all. My bird fans be loving it. Do y'all be seeing them in the comments? I'm going to read the comments one day. I keep on saying that. I'm going to have a whole video where I'm reading the comments. It ain't going to be all the comments. It's just the comments that make me look like this. Like, what made you... Fuck, <laughs> oh, I'll be going in. Oh, my God. Y'all in these comments. I'm going to start not answering them after a while. Like, cuz, oh, she said she answered her comments for the first hour 30 minutes to an hour and then she don't go back that's getting me now it, that's yeah that's starting to be me it's starting to get busy <laughs> <coughs> not that i don't want it to get busy i do but i want the coins to match the amount of busy in the in, in the views and the comments come on coins make it make sense <laughs> If this be your first time here at Tam's Table, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That's how you become VIP and you know exactly when it's time to come and eat with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it out. My name is Tamara Faye. Have a blessed day, y'all. Peace.